Welcome to June. We have waited for this month for a long time to come. This month I believe is going to be a critical month for us investors. Why do I say this? Remember I am only telling you what I read in articles and what my CBI contact relays to me. I am not a financial planner or banker. I cannot give you any investment advice, oh. Let me guess the RV did not happen as TNT Tony Idiot told you it had to happen by the end of May. Oh, wasn't it also by the end of April? But before that it was March then February, blah, blah, blah. Just a bunch of lies predicated on nothing truthful, honest or with any hard evidence to back up what they say to you. I want to start my news today by explaining a very interesting article titled Central Bank. The issuance of new monetary denominations will not affect the dinar exchange rate. You can find the entire article in the articles section of today's newsletter. I would consider this wow news. We must ask ourselves why now this article. So, on Monday a member of the board of directors of the Central Bank of Iraq, Ahmed Barihi, confirmed to us and I quote from the article, that the issuance of new cash denominations, large or small, will not affect the dinar exchange rate. These are nice words but what do they mean? He then goes on to say the Central Bank of Iraq is working according to well-studied plans, and there is no intention to issue new currencies in large or small denominations. And then, if we assume that the central bank issues a new currency, this will not affect the exchange rate of the Iraqi dinar. So, what does this all mean, what is being said here? Let me explain this article to you. This article only reinforces once again what I have been saying all along. Another one of those I told you so moments. If the CBI drops the zeros project to delete the zeros, the rate of the dinar will remain the same in country of Iraq. It only changes when the reinstatement back to Forex occurs and you take the dinar and trade it thus exchanging dollars to buy dinar or visa versa. This is why I have been saying all along that the value is already in the dinar only the rate, right now, does not reflect the true rate. Please go the page on my blog showing you how this works with an example. This is the link. This is why I posted this additional page on my blog. I encourage everyone to please go read it carefully. Next let me point out something else. Why now on May 27th did the CBI make this announcement about the issuance of newer lower denominations? Could they be heading into June for the redenomination of the three zero notes? What do you think? Last week the decision was made by the UNTO and UNAMI's mission in Iraq and this is a big step. Oh, I really mean a huge step towards full sovereignty. The United Nations is looking through another eye at Iraq now and is following up on all political, security social and economic activities. The government of Iraq has a major role in this transition, and it is a major step to prove that Iraq has a different title and status and the need for complete sovereignty and dealing with the country on the basis of this entitlement. Yes, Iraq has announced the Phase 2 initiative. Phase 1 set the foundation for what is about to happen in the banking and investment sectors.